Hi there. Mark Costner here from Dreamweaver Beginner Tips. One of the questions I get asked a lot from our Dreamweaver Made Simple and Dreamweaver Beginner Tips customers are, how do I optimize an image for the web? Well, I thought I'd make this quick, short, simple tutorial to show you exactly how to do that using Photoshop. So let's start off with this photo of me and Larry the Camel that I took while I was over in India. The first thing we want to do is to actually change the size of the image because changing the physical dimensions of the image will actually make a difference to the file size. So we start by clicking up on image, clicking on image size and then setting a new size. Now images for the web don't need to be very big. As you can see this is currently 2048 pixels. Now considering that the average sort of website is generally only 800 pixels wide, that's far too big. So we could easily make this a nice and compact 350 pixels. And then click OK. It's made the picture look really small. So instead what we'll do is click on View and click on Actual Pixels. Now that we've done that, it's showing us the picture in the actual pixel size. As you can see, it's a lot smaller now. Now you may want to do some edits to the picture, and if you do, you can go run right ahead and do those. If not, it's time to actually save the picture for web. And we do that by going up and clicking on File and Save for Web. This will open up the Save for Web window. Now you can select your preset here. In this case, we want to go for JPEG High. So we still get a good high quality image, but a very small file size. In fact, if you take a look down here, you'll see that our image is only 23K. You could make it smaller by simply selecting JPEG Medium, or perhaps even JPEG Low. Keeping in mind though, that the lower you go, the grainier the picture will become. So if you're looking for a high quality picture online, especially when you're using photos, then select JPEG High. Now you can experiment with these settings until you find the smallest file size that still has the best quality picture for you. Once you've done it, simply click on Save. It'll ask you where you want to save your image and give the image a name. Then click the Save button. And you're all done. That's how easy it is to optimize an image for the web. Well, I hope you enjoyed that short tutorial. We'll be creating some more for you very shortly.